Welcome guys. Today I have a small little live video for you guys. What we have here today is a thermostat, alright? This thermostat is from a Mercedes. Alright, this thermostat is about $60. And uh, it comes with a housing and it has a sensor here. And the thermostat itself is in here, alright? And I uh, just wanted to show you guys how this thermostat works, all right? And uh, this can be one of the reasons why your car is overheating. Even though this thermostat is about $60 because it has a sensor on it and it comes with the housing. And it's for a high-end class car, which is a Mercedes. You know, if you have a Toyota, Honda, Kia, thermostats with those cars are not too expensive. They're only about like... Uh, 12 to 15 dollars so we're gonna test this uh, thermostat and uh, I'm gonna heat this thermostat and you're gonna see this thermostat open up what this thermostat has in inside it has some type of liquid inside I believe it's a mercury and uh, once it heats up it expands just like the thermometers that we check our fuel with the little red line goes up yeah uh, it's the same same thing inside when it heats up when the coolant is like 100 and some degrees, this thing heats up. This is the side that goes in the engine. So this side is the hot side. So once it heats up to 100 some degrees, what it does is it opens up. This thing opens up and it if lets the coolant flow through this pipe and this pipe goes to the radiator down here. And uh, then the coolant cools down and it circulates back and cools the engine and then it cools this and this closes that's how the system works all right so what we're gonna do in here is i'm gonna get a torch and we're gonna heat this and we're gonna take a look at this thermostat open up all right so here's i have the heat i'm gonna heat this thermostat and watch how it opens At this moment, I can see the thermostat started to open up. I don't need to heat it no more because that's heat enough and it's just gonna continue to open up. And both this thermostat is like a dual thermostat. It opens up in here and it opens up over here. I heated this earlier, that's why you didn't see this thing close all the way because I wanted to test it. And uh, I was doing some uh, experiment on this. So what I'll do next is, once this thermostat opens up, all the antifreeze will circle and it will come around to cool the engine off. And after that, once the cold antifreeze hits this and cools this down, this thermostat will close. So what I'll do is, I have some spray here with cold water. I'll just spray it, just like that. You're gonna see this thermostat close back up. It usually doesn't smoke in there. You know, it's just that, you know, it's super hot. This is the only way. You can put it in hot water and uh, boiling water and you will see your thermostat open up. And you're going to see this thermostat close right before your eyes. It's slowly closing down. I'll spray some more inside here. All right, even the inside is closing down and ignore the noise in the background. These guys are doing some construction. They're always out there. Like I said, this thermostat, I heated it up before and it did not close all the way because it got burnt and damaged a little bit. But now you can see the inside has closed and the outside has closed. And uh, since I heated it and this thermostat is not gonna go all the way, it's supposed to close back all the way and stop the antifreeze from flowing. A lot of times how these thermostats go bad is they will lose its uh, liquid inside. The, the liquid will leak out or thermostat is no longer good. What will happen is 
it will not do what it's supposed to do it, it will not open up even though the temperature is like 150 degrees this thermostat usually opens up at like 190 degrees and you could do some research online when it opens up but usually this thermostat will go bad it will not open up and the car will overheat all right sometime it will stay stuck open for a reason it could be a bad spring or something got stuck inside and uh, that will cause uh, the engine from uh, uh, warming up to proper temperature you will not get a good fuel economy and uh, you might not get a good heat inside it, it will do all kinds of stuff but this type of repair you could change this yourself a lot of the cars is very easy like I said Toyota is Honda so it's only like ten fifteen dollars and you could change that and that will prevent the car from overheating you could save yourself a thousands and thousands of dollars instead of spending so much money on uh, other stuff if you take the car to a mechanic and your mechanic wants to throw stuff at it usually you can change your thermostat and uh, that will resolve the issue all right guys thank you for watching my video if you have any questions you can email me you can message me ask me anything you like even the other repairs but only thing i need you to do is i need you to subscribe to my channel and tell your friends and let them subscribe and i will have other live videos such as this coming in the future and uh let's do this one more time <coughs> let's do this one more time so you can see it again if you missed it There you go, thermostat has opened on both spots and uh, now you can see it up close and personal. This is what happens inside that antifreeze, inside of those hoses in the engine and uh, you can't really see it in there, you can't test it. You can pull it out, put it in a hot boiling water, that's one way you can test it and now like a hot potato <coughs> sorry for the cough and you're gonna see that thermostat close slowly Right, there you have it guys, thermostat closing.